Yeah, apparent, apparently trying to, or Rumbo was telling me about how you apparently can send out a corrupt saved game. Oh, I'm not surprised. I've never had that happen to me before, so it's a surprise to me. All right, you ready for one more day? Yes. Uh, yeah. Let's not even bother starting the recording until we can definitely sort out the day one lag. No one's going to miss it. All right, one day has gone. Okay, well, we caught up pretty good that time. Give it just one more day. Done. Yeah, we're pretty much in sync. I'd okay. say we're uh, good. I'm going to find a damn wife. Find a anyway, wife. We also are going to probably need to uh, make cuts at the same time to try and keep our episodes relatively the same. I was actually planning on not doing episode cuts, just recording the entire thing and then cutting. But we can do we can do like every 15 20 minutes or whatever yeah it would, it would be easier that way so we don't end up like having people um like showing five minutes extra footage in some episodes and more okay. unified and professional like you know all right so how about we do a rotation then on like introductions just one person introduces it you know, like hello this is episode three welcome back kind of thing yeah we could just use the entire first cut, which was like a good six or seven minutes as an introduction to the, uh, the entire series as a whole and call it its own friggin' episode or whatever. Okay, shall I unpause? Uh, we'll call it the uh, the first bunch of bits, whatever, we can use as an introduction type thing. You know, edit it however you want. And then let, let's call this one right here episode one. Yeah. And then... I'll time it, and, uh... Mm -hmm. Do you want me to just... How about, since I've got my phone right here, I'm timing them, how about I'll just wrap up the episodes? Alright. 20-minute episodes. Sounds good. We already got 11 mm -hmm. and a half minutes on that first video I did. Hm. Really? I only got, like, six minutes. That's because I was recording the whole thing. Yep. Okay, unpause. Yeah, maybe? Okay, so let's start yes, the first episode. Maybe. And I'll uh, I'll I'll do the first episode introduction, then somebody else can do it next time. Okay, we're unpaused. Right. Introduce. All right, so start your recording in three, two. Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. I'm playing with uh, Kelvin and Shenra. We're on episode one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hola, cómo estás? Ah, my wound already healed. You were wounded. Wood. Yeah. yeah. You, if you the wounded is actually a really good trait to start off with. Because it only sticks with you for, like, a year or two at most. And then it becomes scarred and actually starts giving you prestige. Ah. Yeah. And it already is gone. Which is fantastic. Cool. Yeah. You got pretty lucky with that. Yeah, literally, like, two weeks. It was a paper cut, basically. Sure. Let's marry a relative of the king for like 300 prestige. <laughs> no, really, it's going to be for like 300 freaking prestige. That's great. Yeah, I already got uh, a married princess of Navarra. Oh, nice. shoot. Make, gotta use my council. I always forget to use my council in multiplayer. Oh, shit, me too. <laughs> I forget to do that in single player as well. What's a council? What? Oh, God. Yeah. Damn. What damn? Ah, uh, just having trouble actually deciding between the prestige and the money. Hmm. We need some babies. In time. Is there any good trick? Is there any good trick to get your your woman to get babies? Um, like get like a uh, gray eminence who's like sixteen and lustful. No, Oops. I mean once you already have a woman. Oh, if you have the have a son or daughter ambition, uh, then your fertility as a character is increased. 
That's oh. about the best I can, I can say to do, though. Should I put the speed up to two? Yeah, I think we're good for that. Sounds right, good, speed yeah. Two. Speed one is, uh, we're not even... Ooh, barely, barely even ticking. Yeah. It looks like we're keeping up pretty good. I've just become the marshal for West Francia. Francia. Nice job. High five. I'm Rising the steward. With, I have 14 marshal. I'd be a much better chancellor. But... I've got 20 stewardship, so. Count Calvin of Paragord. Is anyone going to have a fair this year? I think no. I will. Hold a summer fair. It's not even May yet, can't. Well, it's just turned May. I, I usually like to do these things in the beginning because the extra prestige you get in the very beginning of a game is really useful. I'm just debating what I want to do with uh, my Chancellor and where I want to send him. Try to take over the shit near you, maybe? The problem is it's all owned by my Duke. Yeah, but if you get... Uh, stronger you than get... me. No, uh, the county of Thoars is not owned by him. Thoars? Oh no, yeah. he gave that out, you're right. He probably has it a would. really low limit. Yeah. He had it last time I looked. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, Count Brabant just, for that. Brabant just rebelled. Yep. Speaking of which, factions. Uh, can, we make, can we make factions uh, against the king? <laughs> I can't, because I'm not a direct vassal of the king. Uh, I am. I'm actually going to create a, a faction for premature succession in Poitou. Why? Because someday I'm going to take over Poitou. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that for West Francia. Primogenitor of West Francia. Make it happen. That's actually a terrible idea for West Frankie. <laughs> because <laughs> he's anyway. Carling! He's Carling! Oh, he just gave me Cupbearer title. Probably because I started a faction. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, yeah. I will try and appease you. P.S. It never works. My wife is already pregnant. My willy works. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it works! <laughs> you just never know sometimes. You'd you be playing for a long period of time, never have any kids, and you come to find out later that it's because your character had really naturally low fertility. Does that show anywhere? Can you see fertility anywhere? Well, assuming that he didn't mod his fertility, um, assuming he didn't mod his, fer his fertility in the ruler designer, it would have been 50%. Yep, mm. I'm lustful though, so I'm at 70. I'm nice. minus touched, so I'm at 65. That's bad. My wife is chaste, so thankfully my lustfulness offsets chastity. And my wife's a thrifty clerk, so plus 5% on her end. Where do you... oh. Ah. Damn it, I had an option to get temperate, 45% chance I can get it. You never get it. But I want it. I want to be temperate. Ha <laughs> ha Yes, it worked. I just traded off slothfulness for diligence by hunting. Nice. Uh, what is this war all about? Is your war against? For... Oh shit! The, the Duke of Flanders is attacking me over a county of mine. Is Frankie um, going to help you? My liege is, you, is it... Both of your counts, the counties are de jure Flanders. Well, he could have just asked me to swear fealty to him. Jerk. Uh, no, no, he could not, because you're already a vassal of the King of Francia. Yeah. What he could have done was ask uh, the King of Fra uh, West Francia yeah, to... To transfer title, yeah. Transfer yeah. vassalage, yeah. But he decided instead to just invade you. Yay, I have a son. Come on, crown laws. Let's get the crown Robin. laws higher. Robin will not do. I need a name for my son. Uh, I actually concur with this. And Stein. Shenenstein. Perfect. Make it happen. Hey, we collected a special tax. Good. E I, I'm immediately e going to lose. This is not Yes, you are. <laughs> well, we can always start over if that happens.
What a bastard. I, uh... And he's just going to come take my stuff instead of letting me... I'm going to... Hmm. You would you would think that my my liege would care about me more. Uh, there's nothing he can do. His hands are tied in this in this manner. Like, believe me when I say his hands are actually tied. I've been in situations like this. <laughs> the Duke of Flanders just hired mercenaries. <laughs> oh God. Well, obviously wow. you, you, were, you were putting up too much of a fight. <laughs> Things were going so well. Well, at least we'll have Where a truce timer. He can't take Where all my they? land. Oh, he's only going for one county. Yeah, he can. Yeah. He can only he can only take one in the digital. However, then you're fine. Ten years from now, he'll take a second one, and that second one is his last one. Well, is you it not just... conquer somebody near you before then? I think take it's just Omni five in. years. Let's get up to the. Take on the end, or uh, oh. Isn't truce just five years? I think. I don't know. No, it's ten years. It's a long time. God damn it. I want to revoke my vassal's titles, but the king of Aquitaine is too incompetent to raise crown authority. Oh, jeez. Why can't we have, like, medium crown authority? Like, high crown authority so we couldn't fight each other. He's got 2,700 men. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, You're just... so fucked. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Might as well just force him to occupy you so that we waste money on the mercs. And he's losing money while being looted, so... Still a very mean thing to do. Hey, you never know. His money could hit zero before he's done sieging, and the mercs could flip to you. Or they could attack him and then... He'd, he'd just have a brand new mercenary unit right next to us. He's got 70 gold. He's gaining money. I think he'll be fine. No, he's not. He's losing it. Like, he's losing 3.23 a month. Hmm. Yeah, but he has quite a bit. He's only losing three a month. He'll have plenty. It won't take that long to siege through these early forts, right? There's like no defense. Mm -mm. Um, Just a few months, that's all. But he's got two castles in uh, each of his provinces. So there's a little extra fortification. Wow, my 670 men are apparently 13% of my liege. Oh yeah, bring it on. I have 91% uh, power. Of your duchy? Nice. Yeah. You should wrestle that away from him, man. Uh... The second uh, Viking Raider group. Are they going to take away money from his coffers? Yes, they will. It's still That's... going up, though. He's up to 70 now. No, it's it's going up and down. Um, I don't know how. That's what she why. said. <laughs> yeah, he should be losing a fair bit of money. And he will lose a ton of cash if his castle actually gets looted. Which, it looks like it might. Like, he will lose, like, 20 gold or something for that. I really so, hope that uh, ten, within the next 10 years I can do something useful. Otherwise, I will just just get killed. This guy will just take my land. Not cool at all. Yeah, I know. That's actually kind of rough. I can't even offer to join your war. Mm -mm. Well, no, of course not. We have to be allied. And betrothals wouldn't do shit, would they? Because I could betroth my son to your daughter, but that probably wouldn't get an alliance right away, would it? Not until no. marriage. Not until yeah. they're actually married. Yep. No, that would be after you lose the game. <laughs> Sweet. Yep. Well, I propose I propose this. If uh, if I get eliminated, then rather than restart, we'll just ruler design, and I'll just pick a different character. Yeah, yeah. You can, like, maybe get a duke or something. 
something a little more oh. your skill level. Yeah, I was looking at your. Uh, oh, thank you, by the way. I was looking at your starts. You start vassal to your your du jour duke, which would make a lot no, more I sense. No, I don't. Like I'm va du jour friggin' Aquitaine. User join no. your channel. Oh. You are you are underneath the Duke of Aquitaine. Yeah, I suppose. I was independent of my duke and vassal to the the King of France. I'm actually de jure Aquitaine, however. And next of all, I'm in the Duchy of Aquitaine, not the Duchy of Poitou. Yeah, but he Poitou. has both duchies. Does he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the Duke of Poitou, oh. Poitou and Aquitaine. So he does. So he does. If, if I... Oh, come on. France has their army right there. They're yeah, killing they're those raiders. Come on, go kill that other guy. <laughs> <laughs> These are the terms of your surrender. I decline. Through you. Yep. And I murder him. Would that end the war? In... Probably not. No. No, it make, would not. Just make me feel better. <laughs> so murder him. <sighs> trying to murder one of my barons right now. Oh damn, he's got a kid. And that's the end of the Magyar Nomads. Yep. Man, they took almost nothing of Hungary. That's that's what I saw. I played earlier today. It's two different starts, and that's what they did both times. They just took that little tiny spot. So three in a row now. And why is Verona independent? What the fuck? Oh, Italy looks like it's going through some form of crisis. Civil war for elective monarchy. What a waste of time. Mm. I don't know if they win. It's a good way to get the Carlings off the throne. That's true. I'm still kind of worried my wife isn't prego yet. Does it work? I hope so. How do you take someone from your court as a lover? Or is it just a random event? Random events. God damn it. Very random. Uh, oh, and what's the this? new voice that's joining us is Meneth. What's this war with Germany? What the fuck? West Frankian claim on East Francia. Oh, shit, he's going for the whole kingdom. That's probably a good thing. And now Aquitaine's joined in on East, East Frankia Frankia's side. side. Yeah. Well, at least he'll be the first one they conquer. Yeah. About that. <laughs> I guess that's going to put a damper on my plans. King Louis the Stammerer. <laughs> huh. Yeah. This is so weird. I'm playing where I can't hear the music, and I can't hear the sound of all my clicks and shit. God oh, damn. that would definitely be hard, hard to deal with after a while. It is. No one, it's knowing if you're actually getting things done. It's like the only thing I can hear is you, you motherfuckers. You know, it's, it's really disconcerting. Yeah, we try. And this, uh, that's Aquitaine's three thousand man army just kind of marching into my capital now. It's their yep. capital now. Pretty sure you were deserved part of the Duchy of Aquitaine. I'm sure they would like to have that duchy. Well, they're not even after it. Like all they want is like to screw up our king's claim on East Francia. Yeah. yeah. This war is not good for me. I'm going to die if I don't. I'm trying to plot to get him to give the, that duchy to somebody else. And I can probably bribe the king to get him on my side. But he won't do it while he's at war. But if he gives the duchy to someone else, that will break the truce. My theory is that since I am his marshal, he'll give it to me. I have du jour what? land. I have land within the du jour duchy. <laughs> Hang on, I hate to ask. What does what what plot are you using? The the duchy of Aquitaine. Uh, actually, Aquitaine. What? I don't want Aquitaine. Wrong plot. Wait, wait. What 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 plotting are you doing to my duchy? <laughs> no, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Apparently, it's okay. I can use it on the duchy of Aquitaine because he's got two or something. Oh. Uh. 
I just want to fabricate a claim on that stuff. I picked a content at the start, so I don't think I have that. Oh no, you can't do it if you're content. Eh. I didn't I didn't really think picking content through it's usually a pretty good trait to grab. Uh it, you know, has fairly good payoff uh, for what it does and all that. But I didn't really think that one through. Hey, they're up to 4,000 now. Yeah. Does that affect your income right away, or do they have to siege down the first uh, holding before Oh, well, they've already income? cut my income by like 60% by looting the crap out of my county. They're looting? How do they loot? Um, they still take loot, even, like... Even even though they're not pagan, and they're not actually looting. Yeah. Loot. The loot meter still decreases, and that's directly related to tax income. Huh. Weird. Yeah. Not particularly good. If you're me, at least. Hmm. I've got uh, pleasures in life hedonism going, but still ain't pregger yet. Come on. What do you want, girl? Mine's pregnant for the second time. <laughs> yeah, I still got nothing. The end of the world is coming, which means there's nothing else to do except for Shag. The end of my world is going to be coming at this rate. Like, I have a bad feeling I'm just going to get flat out captured at the end of the siege. <laughs> and executed, hopefully. Yeah, that, and then I just lose the game. I can see that happening. Oh, is she still not pregnant? Oh my god. If you raise some troops in your other county, will you be the leader? In theory. Then you, then you can at least walk away so you can't be captured. Yeah, except, you know, I can't appoint generals. Because yeah, aren't, the king aren't of you automatically, is retarded. Aren't you automatically the general of the first army you raise? Nope. Not, oh, yeah. eh, not apparently. It instead put decided to put no generals. Okay. Yeah, I'm, when I raise my up. army, I'm automatically the general. Hmm. So what? Uh... Time to wrap this video up. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you again oh. in the next video. Peace All right. Okay. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know how the hell I'm trying to end this. Adios, can pollo. Yeah, let's just go with that, what he said.